Hey, hey, ho, ho, where'd they go? Welcome back, my chads and lasses. We are in Marina. We are going for the Where Are the Penguins achievement. We are a Sultanate. We are a mighty Sultanate. And we are the number, let's check, let's check. Number six, great power of the world. Man, us, us and the Muscovites are just battling back and forth. I like the idea of just leapfrogging past them and the Commonwealth all together. Let's see if today's episode, we can make it happen. First things first, it is time. It is time to change our, our to reform our government. Now, I played around a long time, playing around in my head. Do I want to become a horde? Would that be fun? It would be fun, but it doesn't fit the campaign at all. I'm trying to colonize along purely sea routes. Uh, I need sailors or, or some kind of a sea bonus. It just doesn't fit the uh, the campaign, and I'll lose mana generation by only having one estate. So I'm just going to go with the nice... And I had also thought about Republic. Yeah, nah, I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm going to just go with the the monarchy. That way we get to keep our air. We got a pretty great air. So boom, we lose our reforms. What are we going to look for? Income from vassals. Meh. Autocracy. Meh. Eastland Brutocracy. That's pretty good. Our national tax or income from vassals, 33%. That's just like a better version than um, feudal nobility. National tax, 5%. We're making a fair amount of money from tax. It wouldn't be a bad. But that Eastern Plutocracy. Merchant Guild influence and a bonus merchant. And then I can take this one for that trade efficiency and range. Hmm. <laughs> or do I just go with the always useful manpower? Because I just... My manpower is only 60,000, right? I hadn't actually thought this through. I, I'm I'm leaning towards the merchant for sure. A bonus merchant's a bonus merchant. How do you say no to that? So Zanzabia, let us transfer from you. Get more trade pushing on out. Next. So here is the plan. Mamluk's truce with and uh, Mamluk's truce with the Ottoman ends September of next year. So, what is that? Nine months from now, we're gonna get ourselves into position, ready to go. Uh, yes, global settler increase. After this, we're gonna take at least one, maybe two texts of each of these, and we are in the process of absorbing Ogadin. I would love to fire on like Funj or maybe Baja. Like I have options. I can get into Buta, but no, I gotta focus on the Mamluks. And since I'm going to be the weaker of these armies, the Mamluks are going to attack me first, without a shadow of a doubt. So I got to be ready to go. This 12,000 is going to be left down south to deal with any rebels, and then everything else in the north will be uh, will be dedicated to the battle at hand. Ooh. All right, let's get time in. Yes, cancel drilling. Ooh, we have unrest here. Yeah, that's why I had all those guys there. Now I remember what was going on. Okay, let's actually, we'll run you right back. They all got there in time, so even if they pop, they're ready to go. Uh, how close are we? We're 90% on the Adelan Separatist. But with my war exhaustion going down, they I, I may actually be able to reduce it quite a bit before I have to fire this war. And got, yeah, let's get you converted up. And with the Otto Man, I can bring you home. I have 20 favors. Boom, that is our absorption of Ogadin complete. We have to make you a core. Nope, it's already all cored up. Perfect. Azuran, you gotta be cored up. Welcome to the fold, friend. And we slowly, slowly push those borders back. As you can see, we can now see Australia. And <clears throat> for sure, when this colony's done, we can reach it. Matter of fact, I think we could actually we could reach it right now. Look at that. Well, I'm I'm whatever. I have this colony going. I can't have more than three colonies going at a time. And I have a priority. I can't afford to. I want to still save up for a wonder. Um, and I want to head west. So this Australia will have to wait. We are coming for you, Australia. I promise. I pinky swear, double pretty promise. Okay, I want them training. Yeah, maybe I'll just fire the, the Adelan Separatists. 14 regiments. Ooh, I don't like that. So we'll start building... Claims on the Mamluks, of course. They'll make sieging down their, their uh, forts that little bit easier. I don't know why I have 5,000 over here. Oh, from, from absorbing Ogadin, of course. 
So that's still under my force limit. But I can't even run them home. Alright, you'll start the war with Alodia's army. And I'll allow them to attach and we'll uh, we'll figure that out in a moment. Local defensiveness until the end of the game in Zila. Or we lose a random prestige. And Zila is... Not ideal position, but hey, local defensiveness 10%. I'll take it. It's only 50 Ducats. I am making Ducats right now, so we're good to go. So we are talking September of this year. I really st should start getting these troops across. And it, it, it didn't work. I um, I still have unrest here. So I have options. You're a mountain. You're a highland. I don't need all these duplicate forts. Maybe this step province as well. I'll delete you. Just keep these couple. And I, I am going to move this fort forward or, or build one on this coastline somewhere around here. This mountain plot's a great spot for a fort, actually. Okay, let's move you over. Or I fire the war and I don't even move off. As long as I can get these rebels to, to go away. Is it's ticking down with that war exhaustion. Alright, are you moving to uh, attack there? I don't know. The Ottoman could be moving to attack the Mamluks. I'm, I'm thinking I got to just attack them and, and call them in while I can. The Timmies won't join me, so be it. As long as the Ottomans are in it, we have overwhelming numbers. Uh, I will not Kobolodrum Baha. Okay, yeah, Baha, but not Sind. We're going to make... Oh, first things first. I want to tell... Make sure I have... Yeah, I want to have all of these assigned. The Ottoman needs to know. I want all of these lands, bud. If you capture this, this has to go to me, right? Right? I don't, I don't know if he'll do it, but like Jerusalem, I'm even going to mark. Jerusalem is definitely should be my territory. I, I have a clear claim to it. Okay, now that I've marked that all, he still wants to, to fight with me? Perfect. We co-belligerent Baha. I make Sukin the Wargle. No, I don't have a claim on Sukin. Where do I got claims? Mukka? Mukka seems fine to me. I don't know when I'm actually going to get across that strait. Jump out here. And all of my claims are on that side of the street. <laughs> okay. There is no choice. It's going to be Muka With the Ottoman. Baja Kobolidron. Let's fire. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to fire them. Oh, I heard treatment. I hit the wrong button. Okay, they'll go away. Now they won't fire at all. Now, I should have no issue handling the the um, the Mamluk Navy, <laughs> providing I had my two navies together. <laughs> but I only see two boats over here. I don't think he has a big big sea, um, big navy in the Red Sea. We're good to go. I do want to jump out of that mock speed five. You're joined up. What is our leader in it? Uh, we're at it. So arguably, I'm not gonna have you training anymore. You'd be you'd be better employed on the front line. And it doesn't look like my ally, Elodia. No, Elodia is very unfaithful. He is definitely not going to come fight with me. He will defend his own land and literally nothing more. Come south into Baja. And these boys will get across when we can. And I, I know the rebels are going to pop here. Oh, no, they're not anymore. I, I got rid of them. Haha. Mm -hmm. I have to keep my armies together. Because I just... The Mamluks can overwhelm me if I, if I separate myself too much. And I, I really think I should send all my armies across. If this is where the war goal is, this is where I should focus. And then I'll run this army south. Okay, this is the plan. This is what we're doing. We got the Axis across the strait. We got Muka and Taiz. We'll send all our cannons onto Taiz to get that siege down as soon as possible. That's a mountain fort to, 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 to defend from. I'm getting so excited I can't even talk. <laughs> Claims on Nagura. Raguru? Yes, you cannot train. Kikoman loves me. Uh, we popped a colony, so I want to send out another one right away. I believe with a range guy, I can reach there. Uh, wrong one. Wrong screen. Diplomatic. Colonial range, 20%. Let's go, boys. And... Ooh, I, have to, I have to get a colonist. That kind of helps. Having a colonist is helpful. Where are they? Hold on a second. One is there, and one is in Algoa Bay, but I already recalled it. Okay, now I got him. I don't know why that didn't work there. And there you go. Bada, bada bing, bada boom. I can reach, reach South Georgia. I'm pretty sure even without the 20% range guy, at this from this point on, I'm going to be able to get to South America, which is where I got to go. So 
That was worth it. I wish I had got that range guy earlier and could have reached it, St. Helena, but I still think I, I would have needed to make an intermediate jump or at least to here, to lesser um, Namaqualand. All the same, it just means we're going to have to fight Portugal. Bring them on, boys. Bring them on. This is why I'm blobbing so big as a marina. Getting ready for Portugal. So we're on Baja, Ethiopia. I think we need some claims on you, friend. Now, do we still have war tax on? We do. Let's get that off. Definitely get that off. That's just eating up my military mana. Well, I'm ahead of, I'm ahead of time on military mana. All right, fine. You know what? I, I, I'm going to leave the war tax on for a little bit. I, I'm liking the money that's coming in. And if, if I just look at the timing here, I'm going to get my military tech probably before I get these other two techs. So I'll get that uneven tech penalty. It would cost me the money anyway. So Do -do -do. smoke that little navy. You got to go, son. And we can float up here into the Red Sea. I'm not expecting much resistance. And we need only one cannon, really. Okay, well, let's go. And I am blowing that hole in the wall. Like I was just saying, I do have military mana. So we might as well. I got sight up here with this, buddy. And it looks like the army... I'm not sure what their army's doing. But I, I will move up to sock in, because at least I can see what's going on. They can't surprise me too much. Yeah, there's a 15 stack. So depending on how long it takes them to run over them, or uh, run over there... I, I should get this one province and be able to duck out, dip out to the south. Hmm, I can always meet him, right? I only see 15 going. Nope, there's a 24. <laughs> there is a 24 stack as well. All right, I don't need to meet him. I will just retreat. Hmm, we got suck in. Oh, I see a 13 stack. See, this is where Elodia could help me. You could, We could do this, Elodia. You and me together. We can take him. We can totally take him. I don't have access through Ethiopia, unfortunately. So I do have to have this, like, roundabout route. But I feel okay about moving this 20,000 over here because I, I know there are armies down here. Uh-oh, 15,000 is cutting me off. This is not ideal. <laughs> this is, how did Doug Gola fall so fast? What are you talking about? Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. So Ethiopia is never going to give me access. Not a bloody chance. Hmm. This is just a coastal desert, so I have no defensive bonus. As long as he doesn't have his 30 stack, we're okay. And I just got to hope I can get across. Or if I'm defending it, I'm defending with his 8,000 at least. Yes, come to me, you fool. Come to me. Uh, we are going to wait on that tech. I can get out of the way and be part of this battle, giving me a slightly better chance of being able to retreat and tag. I don't want to lose that 5,000. Yeah, I inherited them when I absorbed that other country, but I still don't want to lose them. Look at us go. We're winning the battle. <laughs> yes. Okay, this 13 is moving to Baja. They could stop. Stop! Do it! Hmm. Do I take this battle with this 13,000? What is your general like? You got a 2-2-3. Two, two, You're on the 16th. That's a desert. That's a step. I'll just attack him direct. Alright, I'm going to attack him direct. Straight at it. It takes out at least 1,000 cavalry out of the uh, equation. Every little bit helps me here, because I was hoping the Mamluks would be doing all this fighting, not me. I wanted to do no fighting. And, and this perfect. This allows me to retreat right through enemy territory to Zila, where it is safe and sound. Oh, it was only 1,000? Okay. Acceptable. You got to take your 20 to 1s, right? Hmm, this would be a step, so I get nothing really out of that. You're heading north to Soba. I don't catch you. Could go north onto the fort, but I, I don't have any of the cannons. Both cannons are with the other army. I think it's better just to fall back. Get my get my two halves of my armies back together. 
Whatever side of the strait that is. I don't even know what side of the, the strait I, I choose to fight on. Local unrest and Merka or less unrest and Hormoz doesn't like me. I'm fine with Hormoz not liking me. If it gets me more stability and less rebels to deal with, yes, sir, we accept. So we're making claims on Ethiopia. Hadramat loves us. Uh, we have a claim on Buha, and there's no one else down there we can get claims. Keep them on. Actually, getting a new ally in Europe could be a, a good long-term goal. I'm going to have to either fight the Spanish or the P Portuguese or both. Yeah, since Spain is allied to Portugal. So unless Portugal is like allied to someone I can attack, England, there is a chance there. There is a chance. The reason being... Um, the reason being that England can get a colony over here, right? So I can get a colony next to them get a claim on them attacking England, that would be my backdoor way of, of attacking Portugal. If it turned out the Falkland Island was the only province in the whole world that I didn't manage to secure for myself that has penguins on it. Because that's what we're looking for. We want all those penguins. All those penguins for ourselves. Don't ask questions what we're going to do with them. No questions. This interview is over. Okay, again, we're going to get our two, two halves back together. Two can become one. Fort is key. I will get this cannon back together. So both army does have a cannon and, and is, is ready to, to siege down forts. But I, I'm... The fact that they have their armies over here, I'm confident enough to leave most of my forces to the west side there and to try to pick off small groups and take intelligent battles. And I'll have my other army just sieging. Actually, with that in mind, I should just have both cannons together sieging. Alright, let's do it. On to Aden. Oh, I want to take those ideas so bad. I love the, the I love that that light bulb there. It's just telling me to take it. So we'll lose tax in Kilwa. But it'll be cheaper dev. I am not planning on deving Kilwa. I just devved up Kilwa. No, you can you can you can forget that. I want to keep my uh, tax income from Kilwa. Thank you very much. Everyone is back together. This is my best general available. Yep. Yeah. Let's march forward. I don't know. With some luck, uh, he doesn't win this siege. And these guys are just putting around in the north. I can easily take out that 14,000 or 15,000. Let's see. I'm also going to drag off. Leave 18 across the strait. I'm going to bring 3,000 over more to, to reinforce. Because I'm, I'm fighting the whole Mamluk army. The Ottomans are having a field day in the north. They're just like... Doo, 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 doo. It's like... Uh, what is that? The Smurfs? Like... La, 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 la. They're just having a great old time. Not a, not a worry in the world. They're like, this war thing is easy. Easy. All right, we have our visibility up there. The Ottoman are sieging down. Yeah, but actually, I want to get my navy ready to go. Pluck those two boats. These guys are going to come back, repair, and we're going to go back to repairing, uh, protecting trade, making me the ducats. I need some buckets of those ducats. Protect trade. Gujarat. Two ducats a turn. We can't beat that. Off to Gujarat, friend. Now his armies are heading north. Yes! I'm attacking. Now is our chance. Oh, he has one day. He won the siege. But it's a step province. He shouldn't get a defensive bonus for that. I'm going to attack anyways. Attack is always the answer. Always, always, always. Except when it's retreat. But whatever. That That is not this day. This day, it is attack. Hadramats, we can... Oh, yeah. We have a bunch of trust with uh, the Timurids that I would like to get spending. And I would also like to spend this to get them at that magic 70 number. We love it. All right, so his armies are not close enough to reinforce. This is a definite win for me. I need only three to effectively siege this down. So we can leave, let's say, one, two in the Mercs. We'll go forward. Ooh, that would be awesome. Who's heading? Morocco. Okay, Morocco's heading that way. They'll, they'll turn around for sure. I was like, man, that, if I got an instant wipe of the Mamluks, they, their brain tricks out for a second and they stop in Bhutana. Yes, please. That is definitely what I want. All right, instead we'll turn on the Moroccans. What are you doing, Mamluks? You're heading north? You're heading north? Yeah, they're heading north. 
No, they saw me. They saw me and turned around in time. I should have allowed them to lock in. That was my mistake. So he stutter stepped. I didn't notice if he did. It's still 12 days for his arrival. We could win this battle and be on the defensive. I like it. I like it. You're going to charge right through. You're going to go help. Uh, yeah, you're also going to go charge through and come back. Because that could end up being a very close fight. Ottoman, what are you doing over here with 52,000 troops? I need your help. Come and help me already. Ah, aren't you even paying attention? There is a war going on. This is madness. Timmy's, we're going to use up some more of that trust. Ooh, and I'm also going to spend some trust getting some manpower from him. I just noticed that I could actually extract that from him. Legalism every time. <laughs> okay, I don't know what happened there. I guess we beat the 17 stack and then another army attacked. I, I stopped paying attention there for a second. I'm not going to lie, guys. My bad. I, I kind of stopped paying attention. But we won. Hey, hey, hey. Let's go. This 18, he is coming south. I'm going to send all my forces to, to relocate back together. Let's let's uh, create a defensive line. And I'm going to take the military tech as soon as I can. I, I don't care about uneven tech penalties. I got 2,200 new cats. We are rich. Okay, Sire, we have some cheaper development. Are you by chance a gold province? You're not a gold province, man. It's, it can't happen. It's not meant to be. You're just, you're not worth enough. <laughs> It does look like I can extract some development again. Nice. When we can extract from the capital, it's always a good day. 111 Ducats. How close are we going to get? We got the wonder already. Beautiful. This is what we love to see. And the reason we're doing this and we're just extracting cash, yeah, we would make more money if we didn't do this monthly from our tax income. The problem is we are way past our governing capacity. So, And we want to keep growing. We don't want to slow down. So this is a way of keeping keep yourself growing, maximizing that while minimizing your governing capacity negatives and getting a bunch of cash. Because look what I get, look what I got. I got twenty seven hundred roughly ducats, and this is the the um, the wonder I value the most with that minus five tech penalty and the cost to fabricate claims minus twenty. Who can complain? Let's go, boys. Perfecto. It's gonna take a long time to upgrade, but you gotta start at some point. You gotta take your first step somewhere, right? We're okay here. I'm just checking to see what he does. He's not being particularly aggressive. All right. We won the siege already, too. Now, I don't have a defensive position, and he does have 15,000 reinforcements. Dropping back to a Highlands, I, I, I believe this is the wise move. If you're going to fight me, you're going to have to get a, you're going to have to take a, a crossing or a, or a negative penalty for sure. You are not going to fight me in a fair fight. Not when he has 32,000 and I have 24 available. No, sir. Alodia has not come back to, to protect his land. Alodia, I'm literally defending your land, man. I am pr protecting your land and where are you? Okay, that was a rebellion somewhere. Where did that pop off here? Okay, up in the north. Not at the moment. I'm not attacking you. Man, Luke, go get that my rebellion for me, please. Siege is good. The Ottoman are on that siege. They are giving me possession of all these. Perfect. I, they didn't give me... They've given me possession of everything except Jerusalem so far. Perfect. I, I don't mind that. We can deal with that. I'm going to do the... Cavalry and the cannon in two steps. I only have one cavalry on, on average per army. So that's not a, um, a big risk I'm taking doing the cavalry. And then I'll do the cannon. It just minimizes it. Actually, wait a minute. I have so little of each. I don't, I don't need to separate that. I'm not running big armies. Let's go Pro Durero. And finally our admin tech. Governing capacity 100%. 100. Big. Very big. Helps a lot. And the Islamic Center of Scholarly Learning. Imarina gets missionary strength and tech cost minus 5. What is this for? Ruler has a diplomatic skill of 5. Okay, that's awesome. A tech cost minus 5 for the rest of the game. What other random pop-ups are like this? If I get maritime ideas, no, I'm not doing that. If I get innovative ideas, or if I embrace global trade. So innovative ideas would give me idea cost. Okay, that's better to take earlier, obviously. And, and you have a stab negative that comes along with that. So uh, I, I don't imagine I'm going to take innovative ideas. That is way low on my list. But this, yes, please, give me the bonuses. 
Okay, we're still okay in the south. There is unrest, so I'm not going to move the army away. Ooh, you, my friend, need to get out exploring the world. And I can also switch up that advisor. Now that I've got out here, I, I don't need to keep on holding on to this advisor. Can we get that level 3 guy? Yeah, hey, that's the half cost guy. He's still there. Perfect. Yes, right back to him. Maximizing our mana generation. And uh, I, I don't think we have enough Ducats at the moment. 200 Ducats doesn't feel right. Let's debase that currency and then pray it away. Pray it away. Thank you. Thank you, RN Jesus. Now, do I keep my... You know, I am going to keep this colonist out there because pushing west is, is my number one priority in terms of colonizing. Beating up the Mamluks is my number one priority for this episode, of course. And we seem to be doing okay. We're holding our own against the Mamluks. And the Ottomans, like, at some point, they're going to help here. I guess sieging down their whole country and, and handing it to me, that is helping me. Fair. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, Ottoman are helping out. Thanks, buds. Aden is a subject, so I can't just take you. Let's give you to Hadramat. You would go to Hadramat. You would go to Hadramat. I, I, I think I'll give all of Hormoz to Hadramat as well. I'll basically loop him around there. I'll make him a nice, chonky boy. I don't even know if I'll ever other absorb them. I might finish the the, uh, the campaign before I get a chance to absorb them. I would love to come smack you away. What kind of numbers? We have 15 there. No, his whole army is here. I, I, can't, I can't move at him at all. It'd have to be this 12,000. Uh, and we have rebels going to pop in the south. So, no. It's not going to happen. Not right this moment. I can get another leader, though. And I like that professionalism. That's why I keep hiring the uh, generals and not a, not another explorer. I don't care about seeing what's in the un great unknown. Uh, it's not not my not my issue. All the provinces I want are on coastlines anyway, so complete non-issue to me. Do, do, do. We have everything sieged down there. We can cut off north. Looks good to me. Fifty diplo points. I like diplo points. I am behind on diplo points, so I definitely like them. So he'll be out of there on the 3rd. We arrive... We would take that whole army. It's 9,000. Oh, they're, they're going to wait for me. Okay. With some hope, these guys get locked in going north or going away any direction. Then I'll just attack that 9,000 in the highlands. I just can't do it when they're close enough to reinforce. Or they just sit around and take attrition like a, like a doofus here. No, he's running around to get to his buddy. This is okay. This is okay. As soon as he locks, perfect. Now we're going to attack this 4,000. You're gone, son. Yes, easy peasy. Easy, easy pickings is what we're saying. Get the siege down. Can't throw you out. Ottoman are taking care of my rebels. Thank you much, Ottoman. Feels good. I love you. I appreciate you, Ottoman. Having a love, a, a bromance with my Ottoman bra. And he even gave me Cairo. He gave me the capital. He gave me Alexandria. Otto man, you are so good to me. A little wipe. That's what you get for leaving your buddies exposed. And finally, the Ottoman are taking on. That's the first, I think, Ottoman battle against the Mammies. It's about time. Nice of you to show up. Better late than never. I, I, I'm happy you are here. It was hurting me that you weren't fighting for me, bud. I don't mean to complain, but I just want to explain my feelings. Uh, we lost our explorer. Hire him right back. Look at that Giga Chad Radamapira three six three two. Go out and show me the world, son. We have some excess money. I don't think the wonders I'm really saving up for Kilwa. Ooh, no, no, the Kilwa wonder is a good one as well. That ship trade power and yearly prestige merchant trade power. All of this is good. Oh, it's so good. Yes, I want all of those. So we are we are now officially saving up. Unless there's like Giga Chad buildings that need to be built. Ooh, those two. Those two need to be built. You as well. 13 I like. Tax. Less so. And I, I think I'll build that last 10 income for the workshops, but that's it. Then after that, we are saving up. From this point forward, right meow, this point. There. Let's get claims going on the buddies. Uh, 17 development. I like that. I will definitely be taking that in the next war. 
And it looks like the mammies are in full on retreat, so I feel secure enough dividing up the boys. Ooh, we'll go forward to Barar. Better yet, you'll get right onto Baja. If they're in full on retreat, why not? Why why be um safe here? Elodia is gonna like me because I'm I'm sieging back their provinces for them for them. So a fair deal will give me 50 ducats. An unfair deal gives me 97. Yeah, that unfair deal looks pretty good. There we go. I just spent it all. Now I'm officially saving up from this point forward. Ooh, over to Baja. I see his troops, but he's nervous to go too far from his homeland. You've lost. You've lost, Mamluks. Just jump up to 100% and admit defeat. Give me the unconditional surrender. Ooh. Oh, the Moroccan fleet picked off my my um my explorer. No. <laughs> no. The carnage. The absolute carnage. All right, easy easy. Luckily, I got lots more where those came from. Send those boats over that way. I'll get you exploring. You back to protecting trade. Give me those sweet sweet ducats. Let's replace those three boats that I lost directly to the uh directly to the front line. And I'm definitely gonna avoid this thirty thousand because I don't need to. I don't need to lose three thousand for, for literally no reason. And and my start game mercenaries, which I just love holding on to as late game as possible. So this is a Su. So Tajura is my yep. It's my cheap advancement. Local missionary strength. We will enforce that religious unity. Save as many souls as quickly as possible. Now who would just fight there? Oh, that would have been Sin's navy. Yeah, maybe? Sind? Do you have a navy, Sind? Yeah, Sind definitely has a navy. Yeah, well, we just smoked your navy, sir. I don't want your transports. We'll, uh, we'll let my navy continue to do its thing out there. So we move towards mysticism. No, legalism every single time. You are attacking into Baja. I gotta retreat that army away. I. Yeah, I, I'm assuming he was coming at me there. He was coming to swing around. Do do. Three, one. I'm okay if he does this. It just starts just like a back and forth with me. Perfect, perfect. Waste, waste both. Like waste your time doing that. You're taking attrition, running around with your mega stack. That's a hundred. Gets you joined back up. Ottoman, why are you taking man? Just go to man. The Ottoman does not want to go to man. It does seem like he's finally taken off. Get out of here already. You're not needed down here. This is the leader. I gotta get these guys combined up. So you, sir, attached to the free company. That way they'll all move at the same pace going out. I didn't realize they weren't attached. Not really paying attention. Come down to Razgab. Auto man, go get him! Go get that 30,000. Wipe him out. He's trying to siege back Alexandria. You can't let him do that. He was making fun of you. <laughs> Just escalate it. Just keep escalating it. He said bad things about the Pope. Or, or no, he said bad things about your Sunni and your um, your Paradish. I think that's an important person in the Ottoman uh, Sultanate. The Ottoman Sultan Court. What do we have? And in Mintech for 355 ducats. How do you say... I can't afford not to take that. Ooh, but I have a bunch of coring to do as well. I have a bunch of coring to do. So few points. And we're at 91%. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to core up these uh, new acquisitions first. Because I know it's going to eat up the majority of them. If I have enough that I can take the tech right after, all the, all the better. But... All right, we got a new Sultan, but no new heir. This is okay. A 266, we're already focused in min. We're producing 12, 13, 11. I feel pretty good about that. We can take Kalafa, sex practice, scholarly learning. And we're back to being able to take that tech, but we're not taking it. Ottoman, go wipe him out. Yes, wipe him out. <laughs> jump in, steal a little bit of this glory, and then leap on out. Like, huh? punch, jump on out. <laughs> War score versus other religions. Well, I don't know when we're going to be fighting. Oh, we'll, we'll fight more fetishist nations. But the prestige when I convert, that would be pretty nice too. Ship trade power. Money. Money. <laughs> yes. What was I thinking? Money. Money is money is money. Tolerance of the true faith is always nice. 
That is a win, and we will pick off this 5,000. Should be pretty easy. Where do you run, son? I want to be part of this fight. Oh, it's just me. It's just me in the Ottoman. Oh, that's a different army, perhaps. I'm not sure. Is that a different army? All the same. No, I think it is the same army, because they're just, they're just stepping one step at a time. It's step by step. Ooh, baby. Let's get up here to Halab. Now, Baha, I did co-belligerent. I want to give all of that to Alodia, my faithful subject nation, who has um, faith, who has faithfully served me since I invaded and took them by force long ago. Now, apparently, they're not ready for peace yet. That means Baha has a run army running around. No, it's gone now. We we have solved that issue. They are definitely ready for peace. And they still got stacks running around. Where is these stacks, Mamluks? I suppose if we beat them so thoroughly once, we can beat them so thoroughly again. I don't I don't need to overthink about it. I don't need to overthink it and drag it on into infinity into infinity and beyond. Alright, what do we got? Hey, 444 air. Nice. We like that now. Look at this name. Andriana Pandrandrandrandava. You heard it here, folks. And <laughs> a sweet... We're getting some really strong genetics in this country. I gotta say, 266, that's uh, 14 total. Now we have a 444, 12 total with a, a babe of a, of a sultana. Love it. I think the time has come for peace. So, Aden, I can separately peace you out. He became independent during that war? Huh? Then why can't I... No, I can't separately piece them. Okay, okay. So Sindh, we can't throw you out Morocco. It doesn't matter. I don't care about them. They can be part of that nice long truce timer that I I'm totally cool with. So I want this to go to Hadramat. You Hadramat. Just in case I end up taking it, right? And that would be enough there. So we go hard this way. Give all that to Hadramat. I take Mecca. Hmm. If I just give a little bit less to Hadramat. Oh, this is Ottoman control, so I wouldn't be able to get there. I can get right next to Cairo, where I'd be able to make a claim on Cairo for next war. This this um, coalition can't form. Ethiopia's got a, uh, a truce. The Mammies will have a very long truce after this. And um, I, I everyone's happy. Hadramat's happy. I'm happy. We don't go over our overextension. I don't, I'm not able to extract cash. But if I extracted cash, the Ottomans would have got all of it anyway. So we feel good about this. We are the officially the protectors of Mecca. Come have solemn prayer with me. Comment, like, all that great stuff. Come back next time. Till then, goodbye.